This is my 1989 Toyota pickup. Now, I 3.4 swapped it and I did a 5-speed swap at the same time. It took probably four months until I was actually driving it on the road. Um, I've been on the road for probably a week now and I've noticed some issues with uh, just the throttle. It seems to cut off, it bogs, I don't know. Well, so, I'm going to plug it into the computer and see what's up. But first, I need to wire in the OBD2. Now, I didn't wire it in in the first place because I didn't actually get the plug when I got the computer from the auto wrecker. Um, this thing actually has loads. <laughs> I had loads of issues with it. I had a 2000, I have a 2000 motor with an immobilizer, of course, on the computer, so I, it just wasn't usable. I went to the auto wrecker and I got a computer from a 1998, which I wired to work with this truck. And it runs, it drives, and as I said, it's got issues. So we're going to try to figure out what's up. So let's take a look at what you're going to need to complete your OBD2 installation. First, a soldering iron, obviously, to connect your wires. Something that you can use to ground your OBD2 plug. Uh, this I actually took from my 3.0 wiring harness. I just cut it out. Um, your OBD2 plug, of course. Uh, I got this from the auto wrecker. I took it from the exact same forerunner that I took the computer from in the first place. A pair of wire strippers, obvious reasons, heat shrink, a lighter to, to shrink the heat shrink, and solder. So, let's get to it. So, first things first, when you're doing any wiring on the computer or going under the dash at all in this thing, it's way easier to start by removing the seat. So I'm going to start with that, and obviously you got to take these guys off, and then you got to access to your computer. There she is, a computer. Now, if you look on the furthest right plug on your ECU, let me get you in focus here. Yeah, on the furthest right plug on the ECU, you will notice that it turns to this gray and white wire. Now, if you look at, sorry, camera straps, if you look at the OBD2 plug, look, that gray and white wire. But now, looking at this, I'm fairly certain that the white wire is the one that needs to go into the computer here in the furthest right plug, looking at how the splits and this brown wire goes to a ground from what I've read. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, haven't quite figured that out yet, but I'm going to get the white wire connected and then ground off. Yeah, I'm gonna split it, split it back up here, and then I'm gonna ground off the other wire that's in there. So, as you can see, I actually cut off that little guy there, and I have connected the two white wires together, the white wire that used to go into this gray. Um, so I'll, I'm gonna solder this guy and heat shrink that onto there, and then, yeah, I'm gonna ground the other wire that was coming out of there as well. So I soldered and shrunk wrapped the white wire there and I'm looking at this guy and I opened up the other end here just to see what is going on and I can't really tell if it actually does anything. It just, it just wrapped in another wire. So I don't think I'm even going to touch this. I might just black tape up over here and black tape up over here to hold it to the wire like, like it kind of was from... Uh, the factory and then I'm gonna keep looking on the other wires okay so next step is to provide this thing with power so this bottom right pin here is what is the power or the, the 12 volt option so or not option it needs a 12 volt um, so if you look at the bottom right here it's this purple wire right goes right to here so I'm going to wire that to I've actually got a secondary fuse box under my hood and I'm gonna send a wire off that to connect into here. And I'll get back to you when that's ran and then soldered. 
Okay, so I have got the purple wire connected to a power wire, a 12 volt that goes to the fuse box in my engine bay now. You can see that's all done, and now these last two wires that are at the top, right in the middle of the OBD2 sensor, those are both just grounds. So I'm just gonna put those onto that ground plug that I have, and I'm probably just gonna ground it right here. And there you have it, the last two are all connected here and ground it up. I actually sanded that down before I connected it up there. So now I'm just gonna put it all back together and we're gonna see if it works. And here she is, ladies and gentlemen. I've got my codes there and she's working. So, success. I'm gonna try to mount this up somewhere and put it all back together nicely and try to address my codes.